favourite Mugello. Uh, it's actually one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. We've been lucky to come here a couple of times and honestly this place is awesome. So I'm going to take you around for a bit of a lap, show you the corners, show you you know, the tips and tricks as to how to go quick around here and hopefully that will put us in a good stead to have a good weekend. So we're down at turn one. Uh, it's a long straight before you get here. For us we break at about the 75 metre board. Um, yeah, quite a late break. Important to be really efficient on the break. As you can see, it's actually quite a camber corner, but it's actually also quite quick. So we use third gear through here, and then obviously it goes up a hill quite a lot. So yeah, it's important to carry as much speed as possible, but also get that exit up the hills. Turn two and three, another really quick set of corners. Uh, both come up on each other really quick. It's actually mainly important to prepare turn three. Um, whilst you want to carry speed through turn two, the main area to focus on is turn three because it's actually quite a long run down to turn four. So turns four and five are a similar set of corners to turns two and three, but a bit higher speed and there's a little bit less of a straight afterwards. So you could actually get a lot of speed through four and then hang it out on the exit in turn five. The track limits here are the gravel. So really you're just limited by the gravel on the exits, uh, which makes it a bit more exciting, but also means there's always more time you can find. So now we get into the higher speed sections of the track, so turn six and seven. They both kind of lead into each other, so it's important to maximise both without compromising each other. But turn six here for us is just a little bit of a rub on the brake, ideally not a full lift, keeping the car nice and flat and carrying as much speed. And then seven, ideally on new tyres, is going to be flat for us. Now we're at Arabiata one and two, so two fastest corners on the track. For us, these should be flat out in qualifying, but in the race, it's going to probably be a bit of a little lift. But yeah, two of my favourite corners on the track, so looking forward to hitting these this weekend. So off the back of one of the fastest corners on the track, you go into one of the slowest, which is turn 10. Quite a tricky braking zone, it's quite blind, so there's not really a reference. So it's really important to get your mark, get it right, and actually focus mainly on the exit of turn 11. Not carry too much into 10, get the rotation and get turn 11 as fast as possible. So turn 12, a slower corner, but it's a really long corner. So you're at the end of the lap now, the front left's really starting to hurt a little bit. The tyres aren't feeling their best at this point in the lap. So yeah, it's important to be really efficient on the brakes. Make sure you focus on the exit because there's still quite a long straight before you get to the final corner at turn 15. Turns 13 and 14 are easy flat out for us in our car but it's mainly just about picking the least line of resistance, being really smooth on the wheel and your inputs to try and minimise any scrubber speed that you might have. So final corner of the track, turn 15. Again, another really long corner, but here it's so important to focus on the exit because you've obviously got the long straight to the finish line. So the main thing here is to make sure you get the rotation in the mid part of the corner and then a really clean to power to get the exit. You can use a lot of the exit road all the way up to the gravel to try and get that best lap, hopefully in qualifying.